Alright, hello and welcome back dudes and dudettes to another Grounded video. Uh, Dino's tips and tricks. I'm just going to go ahead and show you where the Minotaur video... Uh, key, not video. Minotaur key is for the Minotaur chest on top of the picnic. So first up, as you can see I used the photo mode. It should be daylight because I slept the other night. As you can see we're right over here. Closest landmark would be... You got your battle... Trail marker? Hold on a second, that's not a battle trail marker. So it's going to be near the Jabby Cola on your map. So just right down to the pond, you're going to have the cola. You come straight over here. What we're going to do is we're going to walk from here, right, up, right where the mosquitoes are. You'll know like the little path right here is where the clay and stuff is underwater next to the picnic table. So we'll start there. I think that's a little bit easier to think of. So you're going to run down this way. And I'm going to go ahead and show you where the key is. You will need a level 2 dagger that you can use underwater. The spider dagger does work. I have tested it. Uh, I don't know if the pebble dagger is level 2. It's been so long since i played, so you'll have to forgive me for that. I can't remember. Um, but we are going to go ahead and go this way. And my man, you can leave me alone for two seconds. I appreciate you, sir. Sorry for the blur. Uh, I can't do anything about it now. So it's going to be a little bit hazy here and there. So as you can see, we're already going to this pipe right here pretty close to the sandbox now I believe that's what it is <laughs> it's like this little kid sandbox which is kind of cool so you're gonna find a little trowel here it's gonna be sitting here busted water pipe it's gonna be right here on your thing so on your map you can actually see the trowel right here it's gonna be right here next to this little crab sandbox so it's right in front of it about where this little lips at you just come down some so you're gonna go in the pipe now you know you can look around you're like okay it should be down that way or that way right on not right so, you, well, partly not right. So you're going to want to go down this way. So you're going to make a, once you come in, you're going to make a right. You're going to come through here, and you're going to notice right here, there's a small little section busted open. Come down through here. Swim down here. It's going to be a little bit tight of a squeeze. There will be some uh, soggy roots right here. But then, I've already picked it up, your key is going to be right here, folks. This is going to be for your Minotaur thing, as you can see. It's not that far of a swim. You will not drown unless some, unless you get stuck on this, which it can happen. So just be kind of okay with that. Just be careful. Uh, you can pick however you want to get up to the picnic table. I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, this is weed stem heaven. I mean, like, there's weed stems everywhere around here. I mean, look at that. It weed stems everywhere. Easy to build up. So what I did to build up over here is I just come up this way. Uh, it's not the safest pathway, let's be honest. But it is my pathway. And we're going to keep going up. What we're going to do is once we get up here, we are going to keep going to a little maze where the Minotaur chest is at. And it has... I'm going to call it the Minotaur Burgle Chip. I haven't picked it up yet, so I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's going to be like the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Come up here. Now, I like the idea of building up over here. Uh, just because I get up on the lunchbox. And you can use the lid right there. A lot of creaking, as you can hear. Ooh, crow's up here, too. That's kind of terrifying. Uh, you can use that to your advantage. But then you can do that. Land on the spoon, so you can come up here, go up the knife, come up the spoon, walk up over here, just in case if you've fallen like I almost did. Now, this is actually a very smooth way to go up. You can walk up here, no problems at all. I'd recommend getting a little bit of a running, jumping start. Uh, you might also want to make sure your dandelion tuff is full. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me bring you dudes and dudettes back when I have a new dandelion tuff, because I didn't realize mine was almost dead. So we'll be right back. Alright, and welcome back dudes and dudettes. Uh, it didn't happen, you didn't see it. So we're going to float over here, like I was trying to say earlier. Yeah, make sure you have some dandelion tufts, make sure they're fully healed. Uh, there is a lot more crow feathers up here, it is actually a very nice place to get some crow feathers. But you're going to find this maze right here. And it's going to take you through. Yeah, you got some dice here, which is really cool. So when you first come in this maze, you can go to the right and get a, bunch, a little bit of raw science uh, through that way and whatnot. But easiest way through the maze, just come to the left. Keep going. You got these cool little statues here. You know, all these cool guys come through this door. 
this door right here. You're going to have some raw science. It's right here. I've already picked it up, as you can see. So just make sure you pick that up. When I first entered this room, there was a bee standing, or chilling right here. It wasn't a boss or anything. It was just, he made it look like a boss fight, though. It was kind of terrifying. So just be aware of that. But you come over here to the Minotaur Maze Chest. Open it up. Oh, there's actually a, one of those more things in here. Nice. And you've got the Picnic Burgle Chip. Now what I'll go ahead and do is at the very end, I will go ahead and take you to the very end. We will uh, meet up back again with Burgle. I know it's going to be two different cuts. I hope you guys are okay with that. But what I'll do is I will show you what you can get from Burgle with this new Burgle chip. So we'll be right back in just a sec. All right, and welcome back, dudes and dudettes. We are now back at Burgle, as you can see. And we are going to go ahead and give him his Burgle chip. I haven't heard him say that in a while, so I had to. <laughs> We will come down here and look at the raw science. So he's going to give you science set for food stuff. And then a scab scanner for milk molars. It'll let you detect nearby milk molars, making it that much easier for you to find those milk molars to upgrade yourself. And then the science set for food items. Now it gives we can put food everywhere. So, anyways, dudes and dudettes, that is the end of this video. If you guys like the video, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and your family. If you don't mind and you figure how to get rid of the blur on PC, uh, throw a comment down. Let me know if you found any videos or maybe you found it out yourself. It'd be super helpful. But, anyways, stay classy, dudes and dudettes.